welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another video in the Essay Writing 101 series. Specifically, today we're going to tackle body paragraphs. Um, what should you do with those? Is there a particular way you should organize them? Uh, that kind of thing. So if you haven't seen my other videos, I would highly recommend that you check out the introduction video, the thesis statement video, and the one about using evidence that comes right after this. So just so that you have all those tools at your disposal. So today I wanted to talk to you about four different elements of a body paragraph. Body paragraph, of course, is just the uh, paragraph, or the, rather the set of paragraphs in the middle of your formal essay that actually do the argumentation. You've been given a prompt or a question or a problem that needs to be solved. You've come up with your thesis statement, your solution to that problem or your answer to the prompt, and then the body paragraphs are going to be the place where you give your reasons, where you really get people to understand where you're coming from and hopefully to agree with your assessment of the situation. So first thing I want to talk to you about regarding body paragraphs is organization. Organization is huge. If possible, try to outline your essay before you begin. That way you can take a look at what your body paragraphs are going to be about and arrange them uh, as well as possible. So as far as organization goes, you want to keep in mind that your best, strongest points should go both at the very, very beginning and the very end. So if you're writing a traditional five paragraph essay, put your weakest point in the middle. Um, your audience or your reader will definitely remember your first and your last point more strongly than they remember any of the middle points. This goes also for much longer papers. If you're in college and you have a 20 page paper to write, your professor is going to remember the first point and the last point probably a whole lot better than any of those points in the middle. So save those uh, strongest points that you have for the beginning and especially at the end. You want to leave a resonating note of your best point uh, for that, that time in your paper. Number two, logic. Transitions. Is there a logical flow to your body paragraphs? Or are you just checking boxes? I have reason one, two, and three to share with you. Uh, so let me give you reason one, then let me give you reason two, then let me give you reason three. If it seems like you're just checking boxes that aren't actually related in any way, that's uh, the, certainly not the best way to go about writing body paragraphs. You want to transition smoothly from one to the next. What I often see in high school papers is that people will replace actual logic between ideas, you know, why does this idea come after this idea, and instead use just transitional words like um, firstly, secondly. Those are, those are weak. Why is this first? Why is this second? Besides the fact that the word secondly is just kind of an ugly word. So what you want to consider is not only, you know, what's your best point and what, which one should be first and last. You should also consider what is the logical progression of your argument. Why does reason B come after reason A? So instead of thinking about transitions in terms of words or even sentences, you should think about them in terms of whole ideas. Does it make sense for this idea to lead into this idea? Once you have that, then you are well on your way to having a good logical flow to your essay, which will um, easily elevate it from being just solid to being a whole lot better than it was. Okay, the third thing I want to talk to you about uh, body paragraphs is length. Often, especially with younger grades, kind of middle and high school, I feel like I, as an English teacher anyway, get asked, how long should a body paragraph be? That's kind of like asking how long should a chapter in a novel be? Like, however long it takes to get the, get the scene written or the point proven. You have to keep in mind that if you have good evidence, quotations, sources, explanation to back all that up, chances are your body paragraphs will be certainly no shorter than six sentences. You also don't want mammoth 
body paragraphs because it's easy to get lost in those. You want to make a point, make it well, and then move on to the next one. So in general, that's going to look like probably two thirds of a page, double spaced for most people, but there is no hard and fast, has to be this long in order to be an effective body paragraph. The most important thing is the content. Are you making your point strongly and uh, with good evidence? Are people convinced by the reason or the explanation that you're giving in that body paragraph? Once you feel like that's the case and you're beginning to smoothly transition to the next point that you're about to make, then go ahead and move on to the next point. There is no official rule. And then finally, notice I left this for last because I think it is the most important. Every body paragraph needs a topic sentence. A topic sentence is just the first sentence of your paragraph that essentially tells what your paragraph is going to be about. Not only the topic though, very often I see topic sentences that only address the topic but make no claim about that topic. You want every body paragraph to have a topic sentence that makes a claim. You can think about a topic sentence like a thesis statement light. It's going to take one piece of your overall claim, your overall thesis statement, and it's going to zero in on that and prove that aspect of it. So a good topic sentence is going to look a lot like a good thesis statement, but will probably be more focused and simpler. Make sure that your topic sentences do actually reflect what's in the paragraph. Sometimes I see great topic sentences, but then the paragraph actually covers more than what it said it would cover. Using a topic sentence for each body paragraph keeps your reader on track and uh, lets them know that you are well aware of where you're going with the paper and you're in charge of your organization. So that's all I have for you regarding body paragraphs and transitions. I hope this was helpful. Be sure to check out my other videos in the series and I hope to see you soon.